Good evening. It will be speech in dark colors because uh, I'll speak about the future of publisher. It's not a title. Book industry is in transition, uh, not a book. Uh, is the first uh, thesis. Book is a content in a container with metadata, title, author, etc. This definition fits to the papyrus in rolls, to the codex, paper books, and for the digital book, e book too. Materials of container can change, structure of content can change, and even the rules of metadata can change. But the book itself doesn't change at all. Because of its function for culture, preservation and translation of information and senses, rest the same. But the industry changes. Now some boring data from my country. As a publisher, I see the long trend of decline, which is not connected to the economic crisis. Not directly, in any case. From the beginning of century, we could see the slow diminishing of book production in terms of print run. The whole book production in Russia diminished by near the 23% uh, for 11 years, and for 30% from the best year in the modern history of the Russian book industry. The whole book production declines, but the number of published titles stays the same as in the good years, near 115, 120,000 titles. What does it mean for average print run? Decline. The average print run per title declines for 11 years in two times. Then we can see the change in structure of production. Six years ago, the share of titles with print run less than uh, 500 items and the share of titles with print run more than uh, 1,000 items, uh, but less than 5,000 items were the same, near uh, uh, 30 persons. Last year, the print runs less than uh, 500 items is the biggest share of the print runs. The titles with the less than 1,000 published items is more than half of all titles published in Russia. Now the most popular print run is small. The first time near every book except the books of the bestseller authors is published by near or less 3,000 items. And although a few titles are published for the bestsellers tables in bookshops, the most of books are books for small audience and specific interests. <coughs> what happened? Internet. Content in the internet which attracts the attention of users and competes for their time, for every minute of free time of users. And users begin to read more posts, tweets and news, but less books. The number of people who doesn't read at all increased for five years from the quarter, every fourth asked respondent in Russia, to more than third. But internet in the native space is the native space for digital books. And yes, the number of readers begin to read more e-books, near every fifth in average and near every third in urban population. But there are a lot of problems too. And the main one is the copyright. More precisely, modern copyright system which doesn't help but interferes to develop the e-book market. Practically all of these author's e-books are not in Russian retail. It's a classic. Uh, uh, classic authors, Kurt Vonnegut, Aldous Huxley, uh, Julio Cartasar, Tom Stoppard, Carl Sagan, Rilke, Dahl, and so on. All these authors are classic of fiction, non-fiction, philosophy, etc. The main limitation is the Institute of Licensing, which is based on the legacy copyright system, the legal transaction, the advance payment barriers, and so on. What does it mean in the real practice? the long period of transition on the new workflow of book production and distribution. The key factors of change are from the one side, the change of the reader's demands, less books, more varied books, more e-books, less transaction. And from the other side, the possibilities of the information industry for production and distribution. 
The publishers was the monopolist not only as copy holder, but and as producer too. What the legacy way of publishing from manuscript to book, print to digital? The first step, and publishers often are proud to remember that it was their role, is to sort, to filter, to choose the text that will fit for the potential reader's demand. Then the publisher has to prepare the text for layout and print, distribute and market it. But now some, if not all, steps of the production workflow may be without publishers. Let's begin from the beginning, from the first step, and some sites in future. <clears throat> if not us, but who? The publishers like to claim. But wait a minute. You know the prominent authors whose books were published for the first time without publishers? Benjamin Franklin, Ezra Pound, Emily Dickinson, Marcel Proust, Jane Austen, Thomas Paine, Edgar Rice Burroughs, Walt Whitman, Nathaniel Hawthorne, Stephen Crane, and so on. You could name other names. These examples demonstrate that the publishers have no monopoly on the best market decision. Their position as decision makers is founded only on their monopoly on the print run, obsolescent monopoly, which really fails with spinning of variety services like Amazon Scout, Pentium.com, Unbound.co.uk, and PubSlash. Text is not a book. It should be prepared, edited, proofread, corrected, designed. On this thesis, publishers like to insist. But readsy.com, poetry.ca uh, are only some examples of modern online services for authors. Oh, here we see the crucial role of modern information technologies which could decide the monopoly problem with print run. You need money for interest in publishing project? Okay, try to kick start for it, or to Indiegogo it or try to produce the good quality e-book and print-on-demand book via service reader.ru. Soon it will be open in Poland. And it will be real print-on-demand which decide the problem of print run. Distribution is a problem of different type because the giant monopoly distributors like Amazon in the world, a local monopoly like Litres in Russia, from one side, provide the total decision for distribution of books of legacy publishers and indie publishers and self-published authors. Where I may buy the book? On Amazon? On Litres? But what if, from the other side, the total distributor will become another monopoly? And we see in discussion of Amazon and Hachette that the last battle of publishing industry will be on the ruin of the last publisher and the last bookseller. In campaign of the era of reproduction industry, the print run was the only a good for selling but the marketing tool. You enter in the bookshop and see the book here on the table or stand of bestsellers and there in the category of crime, for example, and it's marketing. When there are no a print run, all you need as author or maybe survived publisher is a good marketing which is not the same as for the old good printers. The key problem of change is connected not only with e-publishing or internet, but, and moreover, with the end of print run. The print run was the main limit and key point for the whole industry. How much copies should be printed for distribution? Was this number of copies sufficient for the market demand? The publishing was not only the first sample of any mass reproduction industry, but the first sample of venture capitalism, because of any edition, any print run, are the startup venture enterprise. Now, any print run in potential has not real limitations with the emergence of internet and free of cost copying, e publishing, and sharp decline of production costs for paper book production. What was a publisher in the industrial period of history? He was a printer, owner, and seller of thousands of published books. Now he is not. The big corporate publisher could be Rhinoceros, produces the big print runs to market them in the bookshops, which survived the decline of industry. But I guess the time for this animal is finishing. The publisher is not a publisher at all in the sense of the reproduction industry. He or she doesn't insist on the monopoly of the print run at warehouse of books. His assistant, helper, correct, maybe entrepreneur, ad advertiser, last not least the man who brings the glass of water for the writer, as we see it today.
Thank you.